Hello again, this is Alan, and I'm back with another review for you. And today I'm going to be reviewing a very special classic British comedy that uh, this year, uh, in uh, the year 2017, celebrates its 20th anniversary. Can you believe that? And that classic British comedy is The Full Monty from 1997. Directed by Peter Catano and starring uh, Robert Carlyle, Mark Addy, and Tom Wilkinson. And uh, basically, the plot of The Full Monty, well, the plot is as simple as simple can be. Uh, you have six out-of-work steel workers from Sheffield, England, who decide to become male strippers in order to make some cash and also feel better about themselves as men. Uh, you know, get some self-worth, get some self-esteem back, which they haven't had in a long time. Um, and basically, that that's the plot in a nutshell of uh, The Full Monty. Wow, man, The Full Monty. I love The Full Monty. I adore The Full Monty. This is one of my all-time favorite comedy films. Uh, when I saw this movie back in 1997, I knew that The Full Monty was really something special. Um, this movie came out right about the time that Princess Diana uh, died in that horrible, horrible car accident in, in France. And, um, you know, I think we all needed a really good, you know, pick-me-up movie to make us feel good and, and comfort us. And uh, The Full Monty was like that, that warm blanket movie that we needed to see to pick us up after losing uh, our, our lovely Princess Diana. Um, and what I love about The Full Monty is that this is a movie about six genuinely good men. If ever you needed a reminder that not all men are bastards, okay, <laughs> that there are indeed genuinely good men in this world, The Full Monty is the reminder of that. Because these six guys are really, really nice guys. You know, they're just trying to survive. They're just trying to make a living. Uh, one of the guys, uh, Gaz, played by Robert Carlyle, you know, he's, he's a divorced father, and he's just trying to get some money together so he can keep seeing his son. You know, that's all he wants to do. Um, Mark Addy plays Dave, who's the uh, the overweight guy in the group, and uh, you know he's constantly worried about his weight and how his weight constantly affects him, and how it affects his marriage, and how it affects his friendships and his job and all of that. Um, he's just so you know so uh, concerned about his his big stomach. Uh, and then you have um, let's see, Lomper played by Steve Hewison. Um, who's basically a single guy on his own and taking care of his elderly mother, but doesn't seem to have anywhere to go, really, in, in life. Um, then you've got Tom Wilkinson, who plays Gerald, a guy who's been out of work for six months, but he hasn't told his wife. He's been very hush-hush about it, um, and he's still trying to look for work, and yet still hasn't told his wife that he's been out of work for six months. Um... And then you've got, uh, let's see, Paul Barber as a uh, horse, uh, who's uh, one of the out-of-work guys that they they get into their group by uh, audition. <laughs> and um, he seems to have some uh, some uh, insecurities about himself and his, uh, his willy, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and then finally, you've got uh, Guy, played by Hugo Spear. He's like the one lone, genuine hunk in, in the group, and it turns out he has his own uh, uh, peculiarities, if you like, and he also comes into the group uh, through uh, the audition process, uh, and then he and uh, Lomper get together in kind of a strange twist, um, but, uh, but anyway, you know, he's, he's the lone beefcake member of the group, and, uh, you know, it's good to have him there, <laughs> definitely. Um, so I tell you, you know, the, these six guys, I mean, they're all genuinely good guys. I mean, you can't help but care for them. You can't help but root for them. You want them to succeed. You want their, their uh, male stripping act to be a huge success. And you want these guys to, uh, to uh, get back their self-esteem as men and feel worthy again. And, um, you know, I love these men. I just totally love them. I just totally love these characters. And, you, you know, I just can't help but root for these guys. And it's also, to the full Monty's credit, the fact that, you know, a a lot of the British slang that you hear in this movie, a lot of it you may not understand, and yet 
nobody really seemed to have any problem understanding them. I mean, uh, stuff like, all right, all right, don't get your Benny on, and, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, guys, you toss a, you know, just, just some of the, the, the slang that they use here. And yet, you, you can still understand them. You can still understand what's going on. You can still understand their situations and their problems and their conflicts. And yet, there's still plenty, plenty of stuff here about friendships and loyalty and, and uh, you know, caring about, you know, the others in the group and being a team member um, and how to work together as a team. And uh, it's just so hilariously funny. And yet it still interweaves great bits of, of drama. I mean, all the stuff that Gaz is going through with his son, his ex-wife and his ex-wife's new boyfriend. Um, Dave with his constant concerns about being fat. Um, Lomper and his loneliness, uh, Gerald, and again, the fact that he hasn't told his wife in six months that he's been out of work and he's still trying to cover up. He's still trying to get a job before his wife finds out that he's been out of work for so long. Um, and and uh, the way that they, they do the auditions... <laughs> In, in which they get horse and they get guy to join the group, and the way the way the six of them rehearse and how they they learn more about each other and how they they you know care for each other uh, during this this tough time in their lives and uh, and just how they just want to feel worthy again. They want to have work again. They want to feel worthy again. Um, they don't want to feel like uh, as Gaz says in the movie scrap you know they want to feel like worthy men again to to the women in their lives to the children in their lives and to themselves um you know it's a very very winning group of guys that you have here in in this movie um i also think the script by uh simon Beaufoy is a wonderfully tight a wonderfully written uh script and i think the direction by peter catano is also really really spot on superb direction by peter catano um the Full Monty, man, this is a very, very special film. Again, it's it's extremely funny. It has great moments of drama interwoven with the comedy. Oh, and by the way, let's not forget that The Full Monty was a huge success. It was the sleeper hit of 1997. Uh, it was even a hit right over here in America. And uh, The Full Monty would ultimately go on to be nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Unfortunately, it was nominated the same year that time. Titanic was nominated for Best Picture, and let's face it, no movie stood a chance against Titanic, not even The Full Monty, although I am happy to say that in the end, The Full Monty still managed to win a well-deserved Academy Award for the score of the film, the wonderful score uh, composed by Ann Dudley. Ann Dudley, you may also know uh, from that pop group, The Art of Noise, um, Wonderful music. I mean, I mean, very, very simple kind of stuff involving saxophones and horns and stuff like da 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 you know and just really simple stuff but you know it's really really lovely music and it really does seem to reflect um the uh the Sheffield England uh out of work a background of, about these men and it and it's wonderful beautiful music that seems to reflect their 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 lives in such a big way now it's been argued that uh, you know Anne Dudley only composed about 20 minutes worth of music but that 20 minutes worth of music is sprinkled all throughout the film to go along with all the hit music that you hear in this movie like uh, you sexy thing by hot chocolate uh, hot stuff by Donna Summer and of course uh, the uh, the closing, You Can Leave Your Hat On, sung by Tom Jones, as the six men finally get out there, they do their strip, and they go the full Monty in a brilliant, absolutely brilliant conclusion to the film. Um, so the music for the film is, is wonderful. Um, the characters are just so wonderfully written, so wonderfully acted, and they're so full of life. And again, I, one of the reasons I love the full Monty is, is because uh, it, it's... Not only is it the full Monty, it's the full package as, as a film. Wonderful comedy, wonderful drama, terrific script, direction, acting, uh, just wonderfully drawn characters, 
Um, great score by Ann Dudley, and I'm so thrilled that uh, that the, the score won an Oscar. So at least the full Monty came away with one Academy Award <laughs> from the Oscars. You know, that the Oscar touched the full Monty, if only once. It totally deserved to win for Best Picture. I'm angry to this day that it lost to Titanic, but then again, no movie stood a chance against Titanic. But at least it got the, uh, the Oscar for the film music, so that's better than nothing. Um... Yes, it, it's it's a wonderful package film. And by the way, The Full Monty, it's only 90 minutes. It's a breeze to watch it. It just whoosh, flies by very quickly. And um, these are just really, really endearing men. These are just wonderful, in, endearing characters. You really care about these six men. You care about them, and you want their, their stripping act to succeed, and you want them to earn their money and get back their self-respect, uh, be all new men, you know, to the women in their lives, to the children in their lives, and to themselves. Um, there's, it's, it's a movie with a lot of heart. A lot of great humor, lots of great drama, but also a lot of heart and a lot of feeling. And uh, that's something that, that instantly uh, touched me when, when I first saw The Full Monty. Man, I must have seen The Full Monty in the theater... Oh, my God, at least four, five, or six times. I couldn't get enough of this movie, and I was so thrilled that it became such the huge hit sleeper film that it, it became. Or, as it's, it was also proclaimed, it was the little movie that could in 1997. The, the, the little movie that could, the sleeper hit of 1997. And it's just a very, very special film. I mean, again, you couldn't ask for better drawn uh, characters uh, such a great script, tight direction, wonderful acting, um, Oscar-winning score by Ann Dudley, the hit songs from Donna Summer and, and uh, Tom Jones and Hot Chocolate. And, and um, you know, you don't have to be British to appreciate the movie. That's another beauty about the full model. You don't have to be British to, to enjoy this film, and that was definitely proven by the international success and the, the North American success of the film. It's definitely a, a movie that, that touched a whole lot of people, and with damn good reason. It's that good. The Full Monty is that good. And as you know, it was also adapted into a hit uh, musical, which I was fortunate enough to see when it toured uh, and hit the Bay Area here. Uh, wonderful show. Absolutely wonderful show. I just love the show. And great music, too, uh, for, for the musical version of The Full Monty. And I also found out recently that it was turned into a play uh, that uh, ran in Britain recently and, and has been on some UK tours of, of Britain. And, it, and this, the show has been overall very successful. It closed early on the West End, as I understand it, due to poor ticket sales. But it was critically acclaimed, and there are still some touring productions of it. So overall, the show... Uh, you know, the, the play version of the Full Monty is still out there and is, is doing well. Um, and it all was started, it all started with the original film from 1997. It's a comedy classic. It's one of the most wonderful comedy films I've ever seen. It has a lot of heart and um, wonderful characters. I love these guys. You can't help but care for them. And uh, I love The Full Monty. It's a wonderful, absolutely wonderful comedy film. One of the best comedies I've ever seen in my life. It's a comedy that's very near and dear to my heart. And I say, happy 20th anniversary, The Full Monty. Mm. That's my review of The Full Monty. And um, I will be back next time with another movie review for you. This is Alan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.